Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is food additives, uh, specifically uh, Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey, which is a very popular uh, whiskey. It's a cinnamon whiskey, and um, I've never personally had it. I've seen it. Um, I've heard about it. I hear people talking about it, and people have even asked for it in my bar and in my restaurant, but we don't stock it because I just felt that it wasn't something that fit our theme. Well, it turns out uh, Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey is being recalled, or not recalled, but actually pulled from shelves in Europe um, because of its additive, because it contains too much propylene glycol, uh, an additive that prevents evaporation and is a stabilizer in foods. Now, propylene glycol is a popular additive in, in a lot of foods. However, you know, Europe just seems to be so much more strict than we are in America. You know, it's just with their GMO stance and corn syrup and all that kind of stuff. If you've noticed, a lot of these companies that make food in America, when they export it, the food is a cleaner product. It's labeled that it has may contain GMOs or, or they, they cut back on the additives. That's because Europe, in general, is much more stricter on food. Not saying that they're perfect or that they're, you know, an ideal model, but they're much stricter than we are. Uh, so it's just amazing that, you know, we can just buy this stuff and consume this stuff and, you know, it's like, who's watching our back? Who's actually governing all these additives? Well, the bottom line is all of our agencies, our government agencies, the FDA, the USDA, all these kind of things, all those people that are there in charge come from corporate America. They come from places obviously like Monsanto and all these other big companies, chemical companies. They're the ones that are actually making the products and policing what we're consuming. So why, why wouldn't they not want us to consume it? It's just, it's just so ridiculous. Once you start reading in depth and seeing all the connections between corporate America and the agencies that actually are supposed to be governing us and keeping us safe, it's just, it's literally ridiculous. Let's well, see, in Europe, it's different because there's not. There is corruption, but there's not corruption, mass corruption like that. Of course, there's a lot of corruption everywhere in the world. But however, when it comes to this, these European countries just don't put up with our crap as much as we put up with our crap. So cinnamon fireball whiskey recalled, um, and not because it has propylene glycol, don't get me wrong. The European Union and European countries will allow propylene glycol, but they're saying the level is too high, that there's too much propylene glycol in it. So it's interesting. You know, my recommendation is just read labels, but here's the problem with whiskeys and spirits in general. Spirits really don't list all the ingredients that are in them, and it's really messed up, because you'll see things that, um, that they don't have to list. Well, we can't see them, but I know things that they just don't have to list in things. And it's like, okay, this is a whiskey, this is a liqueur. There's much more than just liqueur in here, okay? There's obviously some type of sugar, there's glycerin, uh, there's other additives, uh, some kind of flavoring sometimes that we just have, whether that we're not privy to. Um, the bottom line is not many Americans read their food labels anyway, so it really wouldn't make much of a difference, but there are a lot of us that really want to know what's in our food and what's in our drink and what are we having. And, um, you know, wines will list sulfites, but never really tells you how many sulfites, right? Because certain wines have extremely low amount of sulfites, and a lot of wines have a lot of sulfites. And if you're trying to watch your sulfites, you know, parts per million make a difference, whether it's 10 parts per million or 150 parts per million. Um, you know, I personally would pick a wine that has less sulfites. If I, if I had a choice and I was, could only drink wine with sulfites, I would look at the bottles and say, okay, aside from if it's a good wine, a bad year, this and that, if, I, if that was all comparative, I would say, well, I'm gonna consume the wine that obviously has less added sulfites. It's a no-brainer for me, it's a no-brainer for a lot of you, but the masses still just really, have, really don't read labels to begin with. So it's unfortunate. So Fireball, uh, cinnamon whiskey, pulled off the shelves in Europe. Um, I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching this, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please hit like, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the thread below. If you want me to answer any questions, uh, that's the time to do it. Thanks for watching.